if i ask you a simple question that is have you ever thought of knowing that the similarity between the male and female reproductive system how will you react similarities are you serious yes this will be the reaction of most of you but yes you heard me right i am talking about the similarities between the male and female reproductive system i know that you all are familiar with the differences between them but today we will learn something very different so guys once again welcome back to you in this amazing session of science facts and in today's video we will learn the similarities between the male and female reproductive system in fact along with the specialized differences the reproductive systems of the male and female have some basic similarities they are the same in the sense that i will tell you one by one some important points so that you can understand them very clearly the first one is that is the most of the reproductive organs of both sexes developed from similar embryonic tissue which means they are homologous the second important point is that both systems have gonads that produce sperm in the case of male as we all know and egg or ovum in the case of female and the third important point is that both systems experience maturation of their reproductive organs which become functional during the puberty as a result of the gonad secreting sex hormones besides i made the following table that will help you to understand the similarities between them this table in fact classifies the male and female sex organs which fundamentals are same but male and females have been given different names why because of their different structures here you can see however for the better understanding the common name is also given so let's check out this table first in the first column you can see that is the common name is available here and that is the undifferentiated one too and after that the male one and after that the female one so let's start with the first one that is the gonad in the case of male that is known as the testis and in the case of female it is known as the ovary just because of their different structure the second one is the mullerian duct which is known as the appendix testis and prostatic utricle in the case of male and in the case of female that is the fallopian tube and uterus the third one is the wolfian duct that is known as the epididymis in the case of male and in the case of female that is the gartner's duct interesting yes the fourth one is the urogenital sinus which is known as the bulbo urethral gland in the case of male and in the case of female that is known as the bartholin's gland after that the fifth one is the genital swelling which is known as the scrotum in the case of male and in the case of female you can see here that is the labia majora the last one is the genital tubercle which is known as the penis that is for the male and clitoris that is for the female so this is all about the similarities between the male and female reproductive organs i hope you have understood it clearly however if you have any question or confusion in your mind you may ask through the comment box given below see you soon in my next video till then just stay tuned with me bye bye